Good morning, Los Angeles. Yeah, Clipper fans, it happened again. Hi, I'm Bill Plasky, Sports Commons, Los Angeles Times, and this is your wake-up call. And Clipper fans will have to wake up today to the sober reality that their team is not quite yet a championship contender. Their team, once again, can't close big games in the fourth quarter, and their team, faced with big moments, even a Staples Center, can't finish those moments off. The Clippers blew a 23-point lead in the second quarter. They blew two 10-point leads in the fourth quarter. Routes scored 25-8 to down the stretch and lost to the Golden State Warriors, 124-117 to Thursday at Staples Center. The unbeaten Golden State Warriors, Clippers had a chance, had them on the ropes, could break their unbeaten streak, stop it at 12 games instead. That unbeaten streak now goes to 13 games. The Warriors, 13-0, defending the NBA champions, looking like a champion looks. The Warriors hope for a 16-0 start, which would be the best in NBA history. Meanwhile, the Clippers forget to start. They just want to learn how to finish. Chris Paul, DeAndre Jordan, Blake Griffin still can't seem to play great down the stretch. Paul Pierce was barely there. They say it'll be great in April and May. That can't get her soon enough. Jamal Crawford seems distracted. Lance Stevenson, coach's decision, couldn't get off the bench. J.J. Redick injured, but the, you know the Warriors had their own injuries. This was, again, a case of the Clippers not being able to trust each other and play team basketball, to play focused basketball, to play intense basketball when it counts the most. Warriors headed in one direction, the Clippers stuck running in place. You can follow us at LATimes.com, follow me on Twitter at Bill Plasky. Have a great day.